So here we go with the certified tester. Uh, this is in fraternal use only. So uh, primarily we're just gonna be using the left side only. Right side is basically for troubleshooting. So uh, hopefully we get the light. We're gonna push down the power button. Oops. Push down the power button. If you want the backlight on, you just hold down the select. Then that will do it. So our choice is in here, and you can go through this on your own. Let's just see. Let's try to get a better view of this. So two, run a cert on this. Let's try. Oh, that's better. So we want to go to menu. And basically this tester is very easy. All you have to do is just hit the up and down things and there's a power and select. So you want to run for the cert, you want to hit select. RW certify, you want to hit that. You want to hit the down for test. Now you want to hit down for solid wire. So now in the meantime, I have a patch cable so we're already plugged in. So you can use a very, oops, you can use that. Oops, got on that. All right, so go back, hit select, RW certify, test. Go down and run that. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna go through everything. Now notice the end. I just have a long patch cable. The end is not going to be plugged in at all. We have the tester or the uh, the end unit right there. So it's going to go through. Now if it's a dead cable, it won't go through all these tests. It's a little bit different than Fluke. So it's going to go through. And it's very important. The most important thing is saving. So now it says plug in the probe. So what you're going to do is you're going to have somebody on the other end. You're going to go ahead and plug it in and hopefully we'll see the lights. Somebody on there. You're going to see the lights back and forth. If it's okay, it will stay consistent right there. It will say okay. Now on the back end, on the main end, I should say, you're going to have a digital saved, uh, passed, digital test. So you can see that this guy passed the test five, six. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we're going to go hit save. I had one guy said he ran a hundred tests and he forgot to hit save, but it was good. Turns out he was lying. Edit test name. Now you guys can read the manual, but this is the fastest way for me. And I'm going to show it to you how. Edit test name. You can start fresh or you can do a new one. I always start fresh to avoid the confusion. So this is going to be a pain. So say if this was, let's just say D4. You're going to go down to D. You're going to hit select. Now you got to scroll all the way around or you can go all the way back. There's spaces. So we'll just put a space. Select, and you can see up there, D dash. And we'll go to D14, 14. Now, now that you have D14 up there, you wanna scroll back to where it says menu, it's select, and this is the money shot. This is the big thing. You wanna scroll down to save readings. If you don't do that, we wasted time. And it will say store reading number. So right now I have 34 results in here. Hopefully I'll wipe it out and start fresh. So we just hit exit and then you're ready to test the next cable. Love to hear any views or comments, but this is basically for bridge cables internal trading for the cert. Thanks for watching. Good luck.